this is the 2020 Land Cruiser and you are tuned into V8 DXP. For the 2020 variant, the Land Cruiser has really transformed itself and I think the look is pretty much the same for what is going on for the 18 and 19s. But Toyota has done a lot of changes on the inside of the car and it really speaks when, when you drive this car on road. Everything else stays pretty much similar as to what you have in the 18, 19. You have your two projector headlights, these long sweeping uh, indicator lights, LED headlights over here and fair amount of chrome that Toyota started putting in all of these cars including the Prado. So, we can see a lot of those chrome that's going on over here. A nice big Toyota logo over here. This variant though is missing the adaptive cruise control. The ones that have the adaptive cruise control, the sensor sits behind the Toyota logo. And you also have your cameras that, that, are, that are over there. Uh, nice Land Cruiser branding over here. And the stance is nice. It's pretty wide and it's pretty up there. And if you come around to the side, everything uh, looks like your standard Land Cruiser. I really like these wheels. Toyota has started doing these dual color wheels. So this is black and aluminum brush. Uh, 18 inch wheels that do really good job, grip really well on the road and are pretty amazing off-road as well. This car can do a lot of stuff without doing anything to it. No modifications and really load roller stuff on the desert and you'll see some of that soon. Same mirrors, nothing has changed over here. Now on the back side over here as well on the side, you have the car's side profile. No major differences from 18 to 19, but the overall look stays pretty much the same. I think this is one of the things that Land Cruiser has really, the Toyota has really done well is they've stuck to the design elements and they've only changed the bits. They've sort of modernized the car with LED stuff here and there. They've left most of the stuff the way that it is, which is exactly the way that we like it. Chrome finishing all around. Good roof rails, which I've seen a lot of people make a lot of use of and you know, that's something that Toyota really kills. So Toyota really sends these cars as a platform and you can build up based on what your requirements are. So that's really good from Toyota. And on the back as well, it's got the LED treatment, which means your rear, uh, rear lights and everything else is now LED. Uh, back, back pretty much stays the same. These cars, the GXR comes standard with a towing hook. So that's a very nice feature if you're looking at towing trailers and all of those things. It does come with a power lid as well, which is great, which is really good. And this thing pops down so you can have stuff if you want to sit on it as well. But the back as well, pretty much theme. They've got a nice big spoiler over here as well. And uh, it's pretty nice and sturdy. It looks really good. Obviously your V8 badging over here because this is a V8 and everything else pretty much same on the what it's from the 2018 and the 19s but overall the outside of the Land Cruiser is very menacing to look at and especially when you're out here in the Middle East when you're driving this car on the highway you see that it has a lot of road presence and that's one of the things that really defines what this car is it's about the road presence and it's about what it makes you feel when you're driving and off-roading as well this thing's an absolute beast and when you're driving it on the road on the highways it's a beautiful cruiser. You don't feel the kilometers. It just munches out the kilometers really well. Now, the Toyota Land Cruiser is the most capable SUV in the world. And anything that you throw at it, it's able to handle it in the most stock condition. Look at the stuff that we're putting it through it. Some steep inclines and it's having no problems, no lifts, no nothing. And it's just taking it as a breeze, no problem whatsoever. Take it on the beach, no problem. Enough traction to drive you around, end of ground clearance. Overall, the car is such a capable off-roader. It really puts you in the shoes and, you know, makes you really one of those adventure uh, hungry people, which is what a Land Cruiser people do with this car. Now, one of the most sought after feature and also one of my personal favorite feature on this car is the crawl control. Crawl control is a technology that's built by Toyota that basically changes the amount of torque and articulation that each wheel gets and it gets you out of very sticky situations. Alright, so in the unfortunate incident that you do really manage to get your Land Cruiser stuck, you can see that the back wheel is completely in. I'm now going to demonstrate something called as a crawl control. So watch what the car does. Yes. I'm going to step in, okay, I'm going to put it to neutral, I'm going to put it to four wheel low, once it's on four wheel low, I switch on the crawl control mode, okay, and then I put it on drive, one second, four wheel low, crawl control on, okay, once the crawl control is on, you can set the speed using the dial. So now, I have it set it at speed two. All you have to do now is let go of the brake and just keep doing left and right. And the car will just get itself out on its own. 